because all hell will break loose. As there is a mad scramble. Now, it's always good to get points in the bank early, but as we saw in the men's points race on the track, you can just sit in the pack and then attack, and if you really do attack like Kuwada Ken did, the Argentinian, you just rack up two points after two points after two points, and eventually you build yourself an unassailable lead. He didn't appear in the first half of his race where he won gold. He dominated the second half completely. So if somebody did just decide to take this on and go, they could bank a few early points. Unlikely that that will happen. Although we'll have to wait and see. These skaters do has, have a habit of surprising us. Julia Lola Brigida on the grid right at the front for Italy as well, still awaiting her first medal of these games. And Alejandra Traslavina Lopez. Now Chile is next to her. And they are being told exactly what's going on. Number 12 from Chile just sort of moving back out of the grid there. This is her first and only race. Catherine Penan Payaka. Let's see if the Chileans have been saving her up as a specialist in this event. We'll find out soon enough. And we're underway then with the last race of speed skating for women at these 2017 World Games. It's the 10,000 metre point race. Not about times, not about crossing the line first. It's about just accumulating points and the first opportunity coming very, very quickly. There's the bell. Now watch the mad dash here. You see a Burbell out right at the head of affairs. She does love to front run. So everybody having a look. Well, the Spaniards. I think that's uh, Posada ploughing her own furrow there. Just trying to put herself in a good position. Couple of the Belgians up there. Prominent. Uh, here you can see the tempo picking right up as they come out of this chicane. And who's going to be grabbing the early points? Bearbell out is certainly one of them. Uh, she'll take second. One of the French skaters there picking up the two points. So early points in the bank there for Clemence Albu. Rocio Bebel out, fresh from her exertions in the 500 metres sprint where she picked up a gold medal. She's banked a point as well. So the gauntlet thrown down. And now a couple of Colombians have added themselves into the mix at the front and Sandrine Tass, the Belgian, leads them round. Steen Van Oot, one of the other Belgians, also participating. Just a handful of non-starters. Heini Pajaro, the Colombian, who's really a time trial specialist. Julia Bonecki, Chen, the silver medalist in the 500 metres earlier, and Erin Jackson, the American, who doesn't thrive in, in these races either. And everybody else deciding, you know what, it's my last chance to have some fun here at the World Games. Let's see what happens. And it's Tass and Arias, the two multi-medalists who collect the next points. Nine medals between those two. And Posada, the Spaniard, has got herself close to the front. Tass is still up there. Marika Toom has now popped up. She's a very clever tactical skater, as we've seen many times over the course of the speed skating here at the World Games. No surprise to see her up there. But it's the skaters with the fresh legs that you think will do well here. That's a Columbia Germany 1-2. So now they will just drop back as Viveros picks up the double and Tomb opens her account. Uh, the 
points all getting shared around among some of the key players. Uh, who is going to emerge from the pack and at some point make some kind of a move? That's what we wait to see as we just go through 2,000 metres. So we're a fifth of the way there. And the early indications are well, this one's going to be competitive or will Arias decide just to make it a procession as she did in the points race on the track? Well, that's another cheap point for Arias. And the Chilean Penan Payaka in her first and only race at the World Games also making an appearance now. So we have seven skaters in all on the board. Missing off the uh, graphic there is Toom. There's only room for the top six, but it's all being shared around at the moment. But the skaters who've yet to open their account, the likes of the Belgians, Anke Vos, Steen Van Oot, Alejandra Traslavina Lopez, Shayla Posada. They'll be looking to make a move at some point in the very near future. Now, here we go. This is a Chinese Taipei skater and a real battle for second there. Now, did the Spaniard hold off the Colombian? And we'll wait for official judification on that because there may be a photo finish for the one point that was up for grabs. Yang definitely taking the two points, the bronze medalist in this discipline on the track. So she's opened her account, and Maita Ancine, the Spaniard, did just pick up that one point. So the Polish skaters trailing and suffering already. So still three points is the leading total. And here's Sandrine Tass looking to see if she can perhaps add to that. She's got Yang for company. Arias emerging somewhere in there. Lola Bridget is up there, the Italian. And Marika Toom has made another reappearance at the head of affairs. So she's looking to sniff out a point or two, taking Hoffman, her compatriot, with her. So the two Germans looking to try and bag the three points that are up for grabs here. Tass tucked in behind the two Colombians, Riveros and Arias. Oh, this really is usual suspects, isn't it, at the moment? Now Boo is up there looking to add to her tally. The early two-pointer there for the French woman. Now a little breakaway group is starting to form, and here we go again. Toombs looking to try and get in amongst the two Colombians. Well, she's got ahead of one of them, but Viveros will take the two. Toom will pick up the second point. And Arias was run out of that one. Oh, Al Boo goes to the head of affairs, but the two Colombians not allowing themselves to be dragged into the pack. And seeing the Spaniard staying up there, Al Boo has made a break for it. Now she's taking one of the Colombians with her. Well, well, she's got Arias, I think, for company. And now, one of the Chinese Taipei skaters has said, well, that's as close as you're going to go. Well, what a big push at the line there. Al Bu seemed to slow down a little bit. That might just have given Arias a chance to take the two points that were up for grabs. And there you have it. There's Arias nicking the two points from Albu, who nevertheless has collected a third point to keep herself in good shape. Now Sandrine Tass, the Belgian, says, my turn. We've got Yang for company, and then the two Colombians, who really are working as a unit together. Arias and Viveros. Chinese Taipei skater Lee, I think, up there as well. And Toon sticking around. So Tass collects 
An easy couple of points. Goes to the head of the board. Looking for another medal. Can she claim a second gold? Can she claim a sixth medal? It was Yang, the bronze medalist on the track. That's quietly collected another point. Out goes one of the poles. That was uh, Sonia Gak. Finding it all a bit too hot. So her World Games race is run. And here we go again. This looks like a France Colombia 1 2 punch. Indeed, it is, and it's the Colombians again. Well, they've just come and pinched the points. Arias is just so good at that. There she is again. Just picking the pocket there, I think, of Albu. But nevertheless, Albu continues to pick up useful points. But Arias now looking around from the top of the tree. Juliette Puy de Bar leading them around. And then getting swallowed up as another attack comes. It's a Chinese Taipei attack. Toom has popped up as well. She fancies picking up another one here. Can she get one? We weaves her way through into second place behind the Chinese Taipei sk skater. So Toom keeping up her collection. Staying in touch with a well-timed burst as the points were up for grabs. But it was Yang that collected the double. So Arias, Tass and Yang, the one, two, three in this event on the track. And now one, two, three on the road. It's not actually 20,000 meters on the track, it's 10,000, but it's the same principle. It's a points race, and it looks like the points specialist are rising to the top of the pile here. Riveros tucked in just behind them, Albu and Toom. Toom will certainly pick up some more points. Tass has decided, let's have a go here. Viveros fancies the two. Who's got it? That was really close. There's Viveros and Tass, the one, two. In what order? Well, they may have to have a look at that. Indeed, a photo finish has been officially called. So we will wait for official confirmation of that one. And Viveros has been given it by a tiny margin. So Tass, who really wanted the two points there, beaten at the stretch by a wheel length. No more than that. Uh, nevertheless, it's another point for Tass, keeping the Colombians company. Yang tucked in behind them. Those four opening up a little bit of daylight. Expect to see Marika Toom make some kind of a move. Bebel out. Fancy's getting involved, and it looks like another Colombian point behind her for Fabriana Arias, so she will move in front once again. Not wasting any energy at all, is she? That's Yang up in that group. Toom has got company. Hoffman, her fellow German, is in that group as well. And then a bit of a gap to the two Belgians. They'll want to close that down, especially Tass, who's right back down, just sort of peeling away from the peloton now. Tass, I think, realised that she needs to take a little bit closer order than she's managing at the moment. So, Fabriana Arias on course at the moment for a third goal of these World Games. Veros has joined her. Colombia looking to shut out the rest of the world here. With the next points up for grabs. That was easy. And now Josie Hoffman takes over. Took a nasty tumble on this track yesterday. And has patched herself up. And got back down to business. So Arias now with a bit of daylight between herself and the rest of the field. Tass and Viveros and Yang separated by just one point in what is already emerging as four skaters battling for three medals. Interesting burst there 
from Hoffman because she now drops back and her partner Baraka Toom steps to the front as Germany and Belgium look to try and take the points here and the Colombians are going to let them have it so Toom back in business Tass picks up the second point and the Colombians did not waste any effort this race may well come down to who picks up the bonus points at the end of the race the three for the winner two for second and one for third Tass tucked in behind Arias just ahead of Viveros who's just ahead of Yang who's just ahead of Toom now that was tactical then from the Germans but Hoffman decided to give her teammate her compatriot a helping hand and Toom collecting two points make sure that she stays in touch it will be a surprise if anybody emerges outside of those front five now this is where the bulk of the points are going to go and here it looks like another Colombia 1-2 Arias taking the two Viveros picking up the second way through there the Belgian in the light blue but here we go again it's uh, pick it up it really is as we get close to the finish line now Arias looks like she's going to be okay Tass has decided it's time to try and pick up those bonus points if she possibly can she's going to need them to make sure of a podium finish here so Tass leading the way the two Colombians behind her this is where the medals are going to go but in what order here we go, Sandrine Tass leading Arias, Vivieros in third, that's our one, two, three here, but top of the pile once again, Fabriana Arias, another medal for Arias, another medal for Tass, that's six, and Vivieros picks up her second medal on the road as well, Yang and Toom just ran out of time, that was a gutsy effort from Toom in particular after all her exertions in the 500 meter sprint earlier in the day but Arias just kept on collecting points working so effectively with her compatriot and it's another clever race from Sandrine Tass and I wonder if there's a little bit of disappointment that it's yet another silver medal but no such problems for Fabriana Arias she is such a delight to watch such a pleasure to be around gold in the 10,000 point elimination on the track gold in the 15,000 elimination event she's picked up a third gold here despite Sandrine Tass making sure of silver with the sprint finish and crossing the line first Vivieros happy to collect bronze and in third place in that push for the line as well that's the one two three and that's the one two three on the podium as well silver for Tass gold for Arias bronze for Vivieros that's officially now confirmed so South America taking three of the four women's medals 